every country wants good relations with its neighbors. Who doesn't? But every relationship has to be founded on some basis. Now, in the case of China, uh, our relationship has been difficult for a variety of reasons, uh, including the fact that we have a boundary dispute. But despite the boundary dispute, over the many years, we actually built up a substantial relationship because we agreed that while we will negotiate the boundary dispute, both of us will agree that we will not bring soldiers in large numbers to the boundary and we will never have a situation where there will be violence and bloodshed on the boundary. So this understanding which started in the 1980s actually was reflected in a number of agreements and those agreements gave the relationship the stability on the basis of which in other areas the relationship went forward. So, you know, uh, there was trade, there was investment, there was tourism, there was exchange of people in different walks of life. Now, unfortunately, for reasons which are still not clear to us, these agreements were broken in 2020 and we actually had violence and bloodshed on the border. So, this is not a question of, you, are, you know, you are spending money on the China border which would be better spent on Indians. My first duty to Indians is to secure the border. I can never compromise on that. So, we, we are today, we are today, you know, we are still negotiating with the Chinese. I talk to my counterpart, we meet from time to time, our military commanders negotiate with each other. But we are very clear that we had an agreement, we had, there is a line of actual control, uh, we have a, there is a, a tradition of not bringing troops to that line. Both of us have bases uh, some distance away, which is our traditional uh, deployment place and we, we want that uh, normalcy. So that normalcy, that return to uh, where we are in terms of the troop deployment will be the basis for the relationship going forward and we've been very, very honest with the Chinese uh, about it. <music>